Hello, I'm Bob Norton, founder and creator of Airtight Management. Welcome to our 101 Video Best Practices series. I know that these proven practices will help you become a better manager and leader. We also know that companies that use even a small fraction of them over time become market leaders and world-class companies in their space. These 101 best practices are just a small sample of over a thousand embedded in the airtight management six systems. Today, we're going to talk about ones used to create high performance teams. So best practice number six is hire based on your brand and culture. This does not mean that you want to force culture on people by policy, and a lot of people think it does. You don't want to make people obey rules, you want to bring in the people that will already obey that, those rules and have a philosophy. Uh, if everyone obeyed rules, we wouldn't have anyone in prison, we wouldn't have any crime because they'd obey the laws, right? So people don't do rules just because you put them out there. You want to filter at the door and, and select the right people based on that. And there's a great story that demonstrates this and how a company can use its brand, its market position, and its strategy as a filter at the door of hiring. Southwest Airlines, uh, a lot of people say, is the most successful airline of all time. And that's because at one point, it was valued at a higher total valuation than all of the other airlines combined when it maintained its profitability through deregulation regulation and the tough times uh, that the airline industry went through. Uh, their strategy was simple. Don't compete head-to-head -head with the big guys on the long hauls. They did short hops. They simplified using a single plane, so they needed less spare parts, less mechanic training, less pilot training. And most importantly for this example is they had unassigned seating. So they were able to get rid of all of that IT overhead and infrastructure needed to assign seats and every time someone wanted to change and move it required employee effort right so one risk of that third strategy a component of their strategy was that people would feel like they were in a cattle call they would feel they were being rushed on and off the plane because you couldn't with assigned seating you can ask people from the back of the plane first to go in etc well they weren't doing that so they decided that a key element to counter that was to hire people that were fun. So they hire people whose personality it is to be fun and engaging while doing their job. And the punchline to the story is, and what not many people know, shh, don't tell anyone, is the number one factor as to whether you get hired at Southwest Airlines is the percentage of time you spend smiling during the day in a full day interview process that's grueling. You will be monitored and they will be watching your personality. Why? Because they can't change personalities and they recognize that. They want to hire people that have those raw materials already. They don't want to hire people that have to get to behave differently because human behavior is very difficult to change. So. It might sound a little crazy at first, let's hire people that smile. But if you think about it, you'll realize it's simply brilliant and probably even genius because you can always teach people to emergency procedures and to serve beverages and food, but teaching people to be nice, teaching people to smile, teaching people to be positive, that's an innate trait that you can't change. So look at that and think about that example because you want to hire people that are going to perform against your brand, your culture, and your mission and decide what the right personality is. Of course, Southwest is an extreme example, but the principle applies in any business at all. Always hire based on your brand and culture, uh, as well as, to some extent, your strategy, mission, and market positioning. That's best practice number six. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next Airtight Management Best Practices video.